Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to um, Pam and Rob's Simple Cooking. Um, today, we decided to have some goat curry with zucchini. And I am going to show you all how we seasoned our goat to make um, the zucchini. So first, I'm going to add some olive oil so the seasoning could um, stick to the meat, about a teaspoon. And first, I'm going to add um, two biruri pepper. I have some grind seasoning and three cloves of garlic, some scallion slash shallow, and one tomato, and I have some diced onions. And in this bowl, I have a tablespoon of salt, some complete seasoning, some cumin, and some turmeric, and adobo. I'm just throw everybody in here. And just give this a nice mix. I like to season the meat for a few hours. The oil helps coating very well. And it's your preference if you want to add um, tomatoes to this. Okay, um, this is well tossed up and I'm gonna let this marinate for about three to four hours. Hello everyone, um, we decided to put the curry together. Um, I had taken out the gold to get back up to room temperature. The zucchini is all ready. Here I have one wiri pepper with some pimento. I have a half of tablespoon of cumin, sazan, turmeric and salt. And here I have a tablespoon of green seasoning. I have some scallion with um, celery ginger garlic paste, and a tablespoon, a half of curry powder, and a half a tablespoon of garam masala. And I already toasted some cumin with the onions. I just wanted that to get nice and toasty. So I am gonna turn the stove back up, and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of tomato paste. I'm not adding um, fresh tomatoes, being that I seasoned the goat with tomatoes so I'm just gonna let this dry the tomato paste brings out a really nice um, flavor to your curry dishes you know everyone cooks differently but sometimes I use tomato paste and sometimes I don't it all depends on what curry I'm cooking so I am gonna go ahead and add the ginger garlic paste This is um, like three garlic cloves. I didn't put too much. Again, the um, goat is seasoned with garlic. Gonna add the green seasoning. And the scallion and celery. And here we have the curry powder on the gun. I've added the curry powder, so now I'm going to add the salt, the turmeric, the toasted cumin, and the sazan, and the peppers. All of this needs to fry up really well. So this needs about two more minutes to fry. Just gonna add a little tinge of water. I'm gonna 
Let this fry for two minutes and then I'll add the goat and the zucchini. Okay, the masala is all fried up. I'm just gonna add the goat to this. make goat curry and potatoes you know all the time so we decided to just add zucchini to this it tastes really nice but you gotta put a little extra pepper being that um zucchini is a little sweet okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and add our zucchini to this Just give it a nice toss, make sure everything is well coated. Okay. Everything looks great, it smells really nice. I am gonna let this cook for about three minutes and I'm going to come back and check on it because it needs all the excess water needs to be dried out and then I'll add some water for gravy okay I'm checking back on the goat and the zucchini it's looking nice and here you can see we still have a lot of the excess water that needs to be burned out just going to turn it up You guys have to try this, it's really good. You can also make this with bygan slash eggplant if you like, or squash. So, I am not gonna cover this, I'm just gonna leave this uncovered so the water can um, burn out really fast and then I'll add water for gravy. Okay, checking back on the boat. All the excess water is dried away and that's the zucchini is melted already so i'm not going to add too much water to this just a bowl full so let me take cook so, you know go takes a long time to cook so i am just going to give this a nice toss and lower the heat and let it cook until the meat is tender. And please taste for salt. And if you need to adjust your seasoning, you know, you can do that as well. So I am gonna just cover this, make sure everything is nice and clean. And turn it, I'm just gonna turn the stove back to medium. And let this cook for about half hour and I'm gonna check back on it okay I'm checking back on the curry it's looking nice it still needs to be cooked a little more and the water is just perfect for the gravy and it's really on low heat for now so I'm gonna let it cook down again for another 15 minutes and I'll check on it again okay I'm checking on the curry and it's all done and you, can, you guys can see that the gravy is nice and thick with the zucchini and it doesn't need anything. So I am going to plate this so you guys can see what it looks like. I went ahead and I plated the goat curry with zucchini with some white rice. Um, I hope you guys give this a try. It's absolutely a delicious meal. Um, thank you for your time. Uh, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.